Hi one guys. is I wanted to show you so, how I cut my shirt. Two things for you in this um, video today. Guys have asked me one how is I, I wanted to show you how I cut my shirt. To either like a long um, sleeve shirt or another tank top. I just kind make of it like this low. To either like a long sleeve shirt or another tank top. And make just it like, like this low. Perfect gym tank. These are like exactly what I like to wear to the gym. Just like perfect gym like tank. These are like exactly. So you can either like make it a little bit more like this, which looks good, or um, you can make it a little wider in the back. So I will show you how to cut these. It's super, super easy, but a lot of you guys ask. So we'll do that. Hi, Puffy. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. Oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Oh, there she goes. That's a pretty girl. Oh, my boy. Alright. Back to what we were doing. So, guys, all you need is either a tank top or a short sleeve shirt. It totally doesn't matter. It can be, like, oversized. It can be smaller. Um, whatever you prefer. So, we're going to go and we're going to take the bottom of the shirt. I'm doing a tank top, but I want to cut the sleeves off more. So... You're going to line it all up at the bottom and fold it in half. Make sure the edges are really, really even. So like the seams, see how this one's kind of like over more? I'm just going to pull that seam over so that the seams are in line because if the seams are not in line, then um, the whole back and the front are going to be uneven. So it's really the seams that you want to watch out for, not just like folding it in half randomly. So there we go, pull the edge tight, and like fix the whole top, so if it's short sleeves, fix the sleeves a little bit, um, make sure that even though when the bottom is perfectly aligned, make sure the top is perfectly aligned as well. So like the tag should be right in the middle. And then you are going to place it so that the um, sleeves of the shirt would be facing you. Take a pair of scissors and we are going to cut. I'll show you down here. So I'm going to cut from about here all the way up, depending on how much I want cut of this. So I like them lower, I like them to come down even a little bit lower than this, like maybe like belly button height, so it's really loose and comfortable in the gym. And you're going to make it so it's like a half circle you're kind of cutting out. And you'll see right here how I'm going, but I'm keeping some of the top layer on so that like there are still there's still straps for sleeves it really doesn't matter if it's like cut nicely um, in the wash it'll all look pretty much even like all these little all those little pieces and stuff are fine that'll come off in the wash so then you should be left with kind of just two remnants of shirt. And then what I like to do is I like to pull out both edges that I just cut. And there you have it. Stringy tank. Stringy tank. And it'll look just like this one because this is literally the exact same shirt. So now you know how to do that. Super easy. Um, I always cut like old t-shirts. Um, like my boyfriend's old t-shirts are high school volleyball t-shirts yeah and I'm about to show you my two favorite bicep exercises and my two favorite tricep exercises so I hope you enjoy that um, I will see you guys in the next clip just so you guys don't think like oh I go to the gym every day and I want to go to the gym every day it has taken I had nothing to do today and we woke up at like 11 and I literally sat on the couch until around 5 o'clock tonight. Like, I did not feel like coming to the gym at all. I actually 
did like a half workout on Wednesday because um, I did legs and back so I didn't get a full leg or back workout and then Thursday I got my hair done so I didn't come to the gym Friday I was with Yami and we had like a I did like a few squats and did the trip um, the Stairmaster that doesn't count as a workout to me yesterday I didn't come to the gym and today I almost didn't come to the gym like that is so not like me um all the other days like there would, would have been no problem me coming but today I just don't feel like it and I think a big big part of that is how badly I ate on Friday um I feel so lazy and like I just don't feel like working out <laughs> so this is where I am I'm sitting outside the gym but I just want to tell you guys that like I don't feel like going to the gym every day there are days that I want to sit on my couch and I want to sit with my dogs and just hang out all day because I work 40 hours a week I do client plans like I want to relax too but the more time I take off from the gym the easier it is for me not to go so I just needed to come here get it done um, I'll, I know I won't I've never regretted going to the gym so but I do regret when I don't go so even if I don't get a great workout it's better than nothing so if you guys are ever just like sitting at home and you're like damn I really don't feel like going to the gym just go just go sit in your car give yourself a little pep talk drink some pre-workout and just go and do it because you'll feel awesome after don't make excuses just get it done because one excuse leads to another excuse leads to another and before you know it you haven't been to the gym in a week and then you don't know whether or not to start over your you should start over your plan or what you should do so just go and do what you can and you'll thank yourself later but you're not alone if you don't feel like going to the gym and that is that so right now I am going to film my favorite bicep and tricep workout it's for you and I'll show you that and I hope if you're watching this and you're sitting on the couch contemplating going to the gym just go just go pause this video and get up right now just go do it all right guys I will see you in the next clip all right my friends I would like to show you my three favorite bicep exercises first so I like to call these they're sevens I call them sevens but so what you're going to do is you're going to do seven regular um, bicep curls bringing the um, dumbbells all the way down and back up and then you're going to switch it to a hammer curl and you're going to have your palms facing inward just like right here and then you are going to flip them upside down and you're going to have your palms facing the floor and you're going to do seven reps of each one um, I really love these because they burn so badly by the end I usually use 10 10 pounds sometimes 12 if I'm feeling risky but uh, yeah those really burn so the next exercise we have here are barbell 21s and with these you're going to do a full seven reps of each uh, movement so first movement is going to be the full rep you're going to go all the way down with a full extension and bring your arm all the way back up and squeeze tight at the top really use your biceps for these do not swing your back there's nothing more I can't stand than when I see people doing biceps and they're swinging their back uh, swinging their arms back and forth to move the weight if you cannot move the weight with just your biceps do not do the weight lower the weight um, so then the next seven reps you're going to do half reps at the top stop right at parallel and then come back up and squeeze and then the last seven reps you're going to go all the way down full extension and come back up to parallel so those are 21s with a barbell my third favorite bicep exercise is by far reverse um, cable curls so what you want to do is take the straight bar attachment and um, put it on a moderate weight depending on how many reps you're doing but right here I think I'm only doing 12.5 pounds but uh, you're going to stand over the attachment with the uh, bar coming in front of you so when you are doing the bicep curl you're really letting that cable pull your arm all the way down the full extension on biceps is extremely important uh, the stretching of those muscle fibers is what will really uh, really build the muscle so then you're going to come all the way down and pull up and squeeze all the way down full extension up and squeeze 
All right, guys, here are my favorite tricep exercises. So first will be um, cable pushdowns. You're going to put the rope attachment at the top of the cables and kind of bend over the attachment. And you're going to push down, flex your tricep, and bring it back up to chest level and back down. Make sure you squeeze at the bottom of the motion and kind of um, build a triangle with the movement. So you're going to come up and then pull out towards the bottom, but make sure it's one fluid movement and you're not going down and then pulling out. So just kind of think of a triangle when you're doing it. One little thing I want to mention about triceps for me personally, I can no longer do uh, skull crushers, above the head tricep pumps. I have a nerve issue in my left arm that if I close my elbow too much, the nerve gets pinched and my two fingers go numb. It's not a big deal, but I can no longer do those two exercises, which are actually my favorite for triceps. So if you are able to do them, do close grip skull crushers and wide grip skull crushers. Um, definitely my favorite tricep exercises to build that muscle. I do not normally do these because of the overhead extension that I was just talking about, but I love, I used to love adding these in as a superset uh, right after the cable pushdowns. Uh, these are tricep extensions over your head. Make sure your elbows are kind of staying in the same spot and you're going to extend the rope over your head and slowly release it back. My next favorite tricep exercise are single arm tricep pull downs. Um, you don't need an attachment for these and you should keep the actual attachment itself at about shoulder level. Uh, you're going to kind of lean over again and just kick your arm back. You can do these with dumbbells but I prefer with cables for the uh, full extension. It really calls for you to get the full movement. So you're going to pull back, flex your arm and come back up. You're going to do it with each arm. Um, I like to lean over it a little bit more than other people. Some people will stand straight up and do these. It's all about what you feel most uh, for your body. So try these and see if you feel them more a little bent over or standing up straight. Lastly, we have crab dips. So normally I would, um, before surgery, I would put two benches next to each other and kind of do these with more of a deficit, me dropping my butt kind of below both benches while doing these. Um, or you can do them on the assisted pull-up machine and do dips there, but after surgery I do not have strength for that anymore and it feels really uncomfortable. So what I'm doing here is I'm keeping my elbows square, my fingers pointed forward, and I'm just pumping up and down. You can see my tricep working. But really focus on using your tricep for these. Uh, if you want to add a weight and put it on your lap, that works really well too. Here's a little flex for you guys. See, I have no tricep cuts there, but that is okay. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Happy Vlogmas Day 13 and 14.